Our big story, score one for the good guys. A good Samaritan taking down a suspected purse snatcher in the act. The victim, a 76-year-old Dayton woman who was grocery shopping. Alexandra Lewis spoke with that woman tonight. She joins us now live from Kroger, where it happened along Wayne Avenue. Alex. Yeah, this man did not go down easily inside the store on Monday. A guy who saw it all go down had to tackle him to the ground, and then other people joined in blocking him, so he couldn't leave the store until police got here. 76-year-old oh, Joanne Freeman went to her favorite Kroger on Wayne Avenue on Monday for some milk. Get out. Not this time. Joanne says she put her purse in this part of the basket, like I think we've all done at some point, if not every time we go to the grocery store. She says she just looked away for a second. It was there, then it wasn't. Just that split second was enough for my purse to come up missing, which I didn't even know until I heard all the commotion. Joanne didn't even notice her purse had been snatched until she saw this man, 35-year-old Jeremy Edmondson, on the ground. It's got awful noise. Uh, people yelling and heard this thud and telling him to lay down. An off-duty Dayton firefighter saw the whole thing and leaped into action. He saw him kind of eyeballing my purse and he saw him take it and he rushed out the store behind him. Police say Edmondson even pulled out a knife during the tussle, but the weapon and the thief were no match for Joanne's hero. They were there for, for a reason. <laughs> Saved the day. <laughs> Looking out for me. Joanne says she's not going to let the violent ordeal keep her from going to her favorite store. I like the little store, actually, because people in there, I go frequently and they know me. And I'm small and I know where everything is. But she's going to handle her purse a little differently. What, what will you do with it now? Uh, probably to leave it in the trunk of my car. <laughs> and just, I think I've learned my lesson. Edmondson is facing aggravated robbery charges as far as Di uh, Joanne, rather. She says she plans to find her hero, Fire Lieutenant Mark Huff, and she wants to thank him personally. Reporting live here in Dayton tonight, Alexandra Lewis, Fox 45 News.